Hello, hello, hello. One, two, one, two. You can make change if you want to. It is. Just gotta get a bit of comfortable. This is the episode of Take Me What's the What. Today's a great day to be great. Today is indeed a great day to be great. I was sitting here at my home and uh, taking some time to just kind of think about some things. And I decided and I've been pondering about how to go forward with the arts for for quite some time. uh, I've been creating Um, and it's I've I've heard all the conversation about um, the various responses uh, to the art and I've always known that there would come a time when there was an opportunity to use this art, which is a demonstration, a, a decision to make a public de- demonstration of, of choosing to be reborn in pain rather than die in pain and, 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 and be able to have these various pieces that, that I've created through my art that d- display this this decision, this testimony, if you will, of how God is a healer. And so, uh, you know, for for many of you, uh, and I could go on and on and explain it, and that's kind of what I'm I'm here to to share, is that we will begin to uh, talk about what's behind the art. And, and, um, And we'll also be able to share that it's not something that we just, we just do just to be seen, but it is who we are. And so, you know, that's going to be a huge part of uh, the Tech P series. You know, for so long, I've, I've thought about, you know, w- will Tech P ever speak? Because Tech P really just creates. And then, you know, from there, he leaves that art to be interpreted and accepts whatever interpretation one comes to, because most times people uh, don't realize, and we all have to learn that our perceptions, our reflection of our subconsciousness. And so uh, I welcome anyone to tell me what they think about the art. I, 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 uh, I love for you to tell me more, more about you is, is how I look at it. And so, uh, you know, we'll talk about these various pieces and what I was saying, because I also do some written, written, written word, but I also want to show this interesting piece uh, about something that we did that was really cool. So hold on, let me check it out. And this is my my Instagram uh, profile where uh, for me, Instagram is a tool that I use to create and also a very, very cost efficient uh, data repository and storage. And so uh, for that, for that reason, this is why. uh, Well, some of that is was the logic in, in and why when I heard people say, you know, Jeff, what are you doing? Or you should not do that. It, it's it's a tool for me. Uh, and the algorithm isn't meant for people to actually see me. And so anybody who actually sees me in Instagram is somebody who actually probably chose to see me because they are not going to make me be seen. And so for that reason, I decided to say, OK, it's fine for some to have a little bit of a misunderstanding because those will be the people that are closest to me. And I'll be able to have a conversation with them at some point to explain how this all became and why it makes sense and what's the overall strategy. And the overall strategy is to be able to use these pieces to uh, to make space for people to heal uh, and, and, and use them as a as a tool to be able to 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 differentiate our, ourselves when we go to sell our responsible well-being, our responsible uh, coaching services through integration. And so who else from a coaching standpoint, business professional or, 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 you know, kind of mental health coach, uh, would have, would have, uh, in front of anyone who cared to see laid out all of these different assets for us to learn and shape our, reshape our subconsciousness so that we could, we could heal from whatever our traumas are. And so, um, Let's take a look at something we actually did, though, like not the art, but the results of our work. 
today is a great day to be great And to make tomorrow better than yesterday Bobby Boucher, did you drink your water, boy? Did you think of all the boys and all the girls in the world Who needed help that looked at us to lead a better world? Hi, my name is Angela Deitla and I am a student of Fix University, currently studying Biology and Data Science. Good day, my name is Wisdom Dayark and I'm a freshman biology major at Fisk University. Why does art matter in our community? Art not only serves as a great component of culture from a physical standpoint, but it also serves as a great representation of culture, society, and various other associated aspects from an interpretive standpoint as it gives quite a strong insight into the various aspects of society during a given time period. Art matters in our community because it is an expression of life and history in various forms. Over the century, we as human beings have appreciated things of beauty and meaning. All such forms of creative expression are a reminder of just how special life is. Art has also played the important role of communication in our community. Although we have evolved to use speech as a direct and primary means of communication, art will always be a form of expression that translates concepts, stories, and emotions in a unique and compelling way. Thank you. For me, artwork has always been a method of self-expression, a way for people to tell stories, to express their emotions and their feelings all at once. Um, as a volunteer at the Fix Gallery, I was able to learn more about the people behind their art and also the stories behind the artwork itself. Learning about these stories, um, learning about these stories, and also about the life of the artist themselves gave me a better appreciation of art and what it could be used for, and the stories that it could tell. And lastly, I want to give an immaculate shout out to the One Two Creation Organization for providing the opportunity for many Fisk University students like myself to go on the Van Gogh Intensive Tour. I'd like to give a shout out to One to Integration for giving, for giving me the chance to attend this exhibition as well as giving other Fisk students the chance to attend this exhibition. Thank you so much and have a great day. The pledge for graduates. Being mindful that we are now confronted by life in the larger world and being conscious of our obligations to be both faithful followers and dependable leaders. We, the alumni of the illustrious Fish University, hereby covenant with one another to be worthy sons and daughters of our alma mater, to realize in ourselves high standards, integrity, and competence, to fulfill in ourselves her traditions of unselfish service to mankind, to up building and to support. In the days and years, be ahead to meet with dignity and fortitude, whatever comes to us personally. This is the pledge of all Fisk alone and the pledge that I took on May 6, 2002. OMG, OMG, OMG. All right, so that was a wonderful, wonderful collaboration we did with uh, Associate uh, Arts, uh, let's see, let me make sure I get it right. Gallery Director and Curator, Associate Provost of Arts and Culture, Jamal Sheets, which, uh, and the Gallery Directors, we, we, we had an opportunity to go out and, and do the, the Van Gogh, uh, the Van Gogh exhibit there in Nashville. And so I wanted you guys to see that piece. I wanted to share, share that piece because I am an artist. Tech P is an artist. Uh, and not only do I create art, but I also in my other Jeffrey McKinney mode, I also build programs to expose others to art. And so that's one of the reasons why it made sense for me to be able to do this because this day would come where we would start to be able to use this as a tool to help others. And so with that being said, I would like to probably show my latest piece. Why not? And then we can, you know, we can go after that. We'll talk a little bit about the meaning and what the symbolism is and the various layers and 
why you know over time you know you guys tell me whether or not there's certain pieces you want to discuss and we make it interactive and but this is just the first one we'll see where where this goes but let's add the let's go ahead and add this back here we are Nobody else, you got Jesus. You know? It's a pie, how I feel inside. It's a high, got me in a skyline. I don't need nobody but you. I don't need nobody but you. I don't need nobody but you. Flipping on the freeway, look like it's my B day. GOD, my DJ, he just be on replay. I don't need nobody but you. Yeah. I've been up and I've been down to say You pick me up, then wipe me down to say Not gon' lie though, I was not okay Hit the ground, you held me down anyway I can't help myself, what you done for me? I want no one else, you're just stuck with me If I were to leave, where would I go? I go. Jesus, take the lead, get the blindfold, let go it's a vibe, how I feel inside It's a high, got me in the skylight I don't need nobody but you I don't need nobody but you I don't need nobody but you Whipping on the freeway, lit like it's my P-Day G-O-D my DJ, he just be on replay I don't need nobody yeah. but you Yeah, alright, so I have to say that I applaud the silence of the community and the algorithm over the last three years <laughs> as I've created and nobody, you know, really typed or exposed themselves asking any questions or what it was. I did get phone calls. I appreciate the conversation, all of those things, but I always found it really interesting that there was very little commentary around what what was going on, and that's why, why why I'm excited to start to talk about it, and also envisioning physical spaces and exhibitions of talking through what this art represents as a tool for our community and for humanity. In my eyes, in my strategy, as the the founder and the CEO of, of One Integration. So today I wrote, besides him, I don't need nobody to fulfill this mission that is fueled by grace, hashtag, hashtag forgiveness. Been known the dark heart had one play. That is to paint tech PS crazed. Hey, the blindfold is represented by a colorful rainbow. Also symbolic to the promises that include the mythical pot of gold. If they want to call me any names, my response is, okay. Tech Panther moves in the plain light. The decision was, show all how not to die, but be reborn in pain. To show you all the power in his name. Public display of the act and process of victory that we were sent to claim. Stay high. Push away from those that dwell in the low. Submit to him and prepare for suffering because the prince of this plane has a job to do. So catch this vibe, join the community and flow as we push through. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. So in this piece, symbolically, it talks about a rainbow that I, a blindfold. And what I'm showing is with the rainbow is that no amount of paint, no amount of blindfolds could cause me to not see. I see the victory. And the reason why I see it is because I believe it. I never had to actually see it. I had to believe it. And I knew and once I believed it, it will come. And it's here. It's here. And so now as we claim this victory and we walk into it, because at this point, Integration is ready. It's open. There's people in there. We're creating. 
We're providing her social services. We got testimonials. You know, the People's Plug, our nonprofit, just went up on the website, uh, you know, a few days ago. It's ready. And so me as an artist, that's the reason why it's time to now shift and go into a, 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 a path where we're having this conversation. We're having this conversation. So if I would have just, you know, in this moment, take you over and, and show you this is this is uh, the people's plug. Once integration, we want to go over and want to check out the community inside of the community. This is the older doctor channel. We'll talk more about the older doctor one day, or maybe you've talked, seen me talk about it another time. But specifically, what I wanted to show you was this is the this is my virtual gallery, and so here you can find the same piece. Hey. We don't have to watch it again, but this will be a space for others who, who want to create, who want to be in a community that uh, feels like that uh, there's no need to put limitations on who we are. And, you know, I would like to be able to show myself in the light and my artistry in the light. Then, you know, that community will start to engage with that that type of content. And if they don't, then it'll just be me doing my thing. You know, that's just I'm, I'm, I've kind of accepted that at this point. And as an artist, I believe that you have to. Because when you create, you're creating through your own creative imagination and no one else shares that with you. And so when I create this art, I it's like a it's like a it's like a practice or a meditation for me. And then this is what flows out. What I write flows out. Like I go back and I read some stuff sometimes and I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's I have to go back and do through, through the whole process of listening to the music and, 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 and putting myself back in the moment. And because all of that went into those layers, went into what I was saying in that particular piece. And so I think that we're going to be having a great opportunity to leverage these, 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 these pieces and, and the written poetry, because, you know, I, I'm kind of saying it right just right clear besides him i don't need nobody i'm talking about god for me to fulfill this mission that was fueled by by grace and forgiveness uh you know can't really can't really uh deny that that's pretty much pretty much how the story goes being known the dark had one play yeah that is the paint tech ps crazed hey hey that's cool Somebody, I, I've heard people say that has that guy, Jeffrey McKinney, lost it. I don't know. Whatever you see. <laughs> the blindfold is represented by the colorful rainbow, also symbolic for the promises that include the mythical pot of gold. So when you're able to walk and commit to faith, aligned with your purpose you get access to these promises and you got to believe them all the way to the end because those promises never be a void and so here we are here we are okay if if they want to call me any names my response is okay take panther moves in plain light that's what this is that's what this is. I'm willing to show everybody who I am. I've always been that way. I've always been that way, but I also had this moment that when I broke and my, was, my eye was twitching and I was glitching and all the rest of this, I was like, man, am I going to be living with this forever? And I said, no, you have to give some meaning to that in order to heal from that. And that is what I did. And so what did we get from that? We got art, and, and a bunch of different things that we can do with that. We got technology called one integration. We got social services. We got our diverse perspectives. We got virtual likeness services. We got, 
We got a myriad of things that are going to be valuable as we march towards delivering the, the world that we want to we want to participate in it and, and, and offering those solutions to people who want to contribute and participate alongside of us. It's, it's you know that that's what it's all about. People get to show who they are. All right. The decision was to show all how not to die, but to be reborn in pain. That pain has meaning. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. You were no, none of you, not a single one of you were actually created to lose. But some of us, because we move in fear and we're aligned, we're aligned with, we're misaligned from our, the, the, the source of the creator. We make a, we make a choice to, to, to align with some people that don't treat people right. And so we're going to solve that issue. But re be, but be reborn in pain to show all, to show you all the power in his name. Public display of the act and process of victory that we were sent to claim. This is about us. It's not about me. This is about we. If it was about me, if it, if it was just about me, then why would I build a community? <laughs> From the very beginning, if you read any of my content, if you if you paid attention, if you know my, my background and my track record, it's always been about, man, how can we win? How can we? How can we win? All right. Uh, stay high. This is to the people. Stay high. Push away from those that dwell in the low. So all of that chip, 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 gossip, chip, 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 all of that, that this, all of them low feelings and things that don't feel good rise above it. We ain't got to know why or how. Just say, hey, I'm above it. I'm going to leave that down there. And either that's going to rise with you or it's not. But we can't stay low. Submit to him and prepare for suffering. Suffering's part of it. It's part of life. I didn't suffer. I didn't suffer so much that Take P was born. Because the prince of this plane has a job to do. He's going to do that job to keep you from getting to your purpose. All right. So uh, what I, what else I say on here? Right. Stay high, push away, dwell in the low. Okay. So catch, a, so catch this vibe and flow as we push through. So because the prince of this plane has a job to do. So catch this vibe and flow as we push through flow with the community. So with that said, this was just like my trial run of wanting to, I think I titled it Tech Tech Piskia. Tech Piskia Speaks. Why did I say Tech Piskia? Because my work is influenced by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Like if you look at these pieces, what do you see? And, and, and I think about if a one integration would have been around, if you know the story about Basquiat, it, you know, it's it's it said that he suffered from from mental illness. And so if, if a one integration would have been around to help with technology. Be able to provide a safe space and give the resources needed to 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 anyone at this time, but specifically uh, Basquiat. Would it have helped? I, I I think it wouldn't have it would not have hurt. Now I think I'll have a chance just like today and have 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 the opportunity to choose. And so that's all we could ever do is put our best foot forward and provide in service and resources in a place, a set of tools for people to thrive. And so that's what this is. And uh this art is. The, the the path that I use to be able to find the meaning in creating technology, art, conversations, uh, thought, all of these different things we are we are to create. We, we were we were built to create. And so uh looking forward to people, more people joining integration. I think I actually have a do I have a do it? Let's see if oh, there we go. 
go ahead and join www.wantegration.com. Uh, there you will find a, a bit more about the business. Uh, once you join the community, you'll see the way that we're structuring the this digital real estate to be about connecting others and supporting small businesses and entrepreneurs, providing people resources so that they may thrive. We have some amazing um, relationships and partnerships that are brewing. We're gonna be able to uh, take our community members through responsible jobs and offer franchising opportunities and franchising education. Uh, we have uh, a few different finance uh, resources that will be contributing and curating content so that we can uh, deliver and grow our financial acumen as well. And so all of these are benefits of the certain tiers that you subscribe to of the one integration community. And so uh, I encourage you to go to www.oneintegration.com. Check it out. There's a button in the top right hand corner. If you're already sold, you can just say click here, sign up, join now. There's three different levels. Uh, if you're interested in being a business partner, I say reach out to me directly. Uh, I, 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 I would I would. Uh, if there's a, if there's synergy in our principles and and our mission and vision, like there are with several others like. Ray Shuford and To The Next Shift or Mercury Hall and Mercury Universe or uh, Frank and the older doctors. Uh, if there's synergy, then the digital real estate's on me. That's what I'm bringing to the table and also the strategy of how we can partner, partner together and go out and win. Um, so if, if, uh, if, if, there's, if there's those of you out there that see any value in that and adding to your team because our diverse perspectives is the team and that's my team that built once integration, And so the whole purpose is to, to, to be able to say to humanity, everybody needs a team and come join or access one, come be a part of it. The team that builds once integration, which once integration is here to connect people with their purpose. And so there it is. I'm Jeff. This is tech P what's the what hopefully this, speaks a little bit more of the art. We're also gonna be adding the Texenio Hall show where Mercury Hall, who uh, is, the, is the, 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 the brilliant mind behind our virtual likeness service, and I will be getting together and we'll be talking about the pieces that we've created and we'll be talking about the art because he oftentimes comes to me and says, man, I don't know what you be talking about, bro. <laughs> He's like, man, it's too far out. So. I've heard it. I've heard it. But now it's time to help make it make sense because this is an opportunity and I, I, I'm excited about it. And so with that said, I'm out. Take P what's the what. Peace.